having this uh, my school has to come up with measures or ways to uh, encourage environmental friendliness uh, as requested by the principal. So I, as a overall in charge, sort of has to get the ideas. Now I'm going to share with the colleagues. So all of you are my colleagues. All right. Can we start that new right? No, no. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'll just take a few minutes of your time to talk about the issue raised by Dr. Anita a few weeks back. Uh, if you can recall, we were told to brainstorm ways we can help with the uh, environmental friendliness of our school. I've gathered several wonderful points from the different departments, and I'd like to seek your opinions first before finalizing with the principal. Now, firstly, I would like to highlight the issue regarding the consumption of electricity in school. Um, while we are able to enjoy the comfort of air conditioning in our staff rooms, but have you ever felt too cold and hence required to wear jackets? All right. The main point of having air conditioners is to keep the place cool and not make it unbearably cold. A suggestion given involves the setting of uh, timers to our air conditioners uh, so that the air conditioners, uh, the machines do not have to work from 7 to 5 every school day. Another way to save electricity is the switching of incandescent light bulbs to LED ones. Uh, besides being able to uh, produce brighter light with 60% uh, power consumption uh, reduction, it also has a longer lifespan. However, the, in, uh, the initial installation is uh, initial cost of installation is higher. Next, I would like to bring your attention to the use of paper. As much as our dedication as teacher requires us to help our students in, our, in their learning by printing additional notes and worksheets, I would suggest printing only the essential and fully utilizing the paper by printing on both sides. With the concerted effort from every one of us here, we can drastically reduce the number of paper used. In fact, with every ream of paper saved, we are saving 6% of a tree. Lastly, it is with regards to the most common item we will see during meetings. As you can see on our tables, styrofoam cups. Yes, with styrofoam cups readily available at the pantry to hold our beverages, to give us that extra perk to last us through meetings and discussions. Styrofoam actually contains chemical agents, and it's very difficult to break down easily, and it takes a very long time for it to biodegrade. So with every, uh, with every disposal, Styrofoam will take up to millions of years for it to get into simpler, uh, simpler substances or elements. In fact, styrofoam, upon getting wet, it releases chemicals such as styrene, which will actually cause water and land pollution. This also means that with every sip of coffee or tea that you're taking right now, you are ingesting that styrene into your body which will be stored inside the fatty tissues and be very difficult to get uh, ejected out of your body. Now, the recommendation, uh, the recommendation for this problem is to use our own cups in order, in order to protect just not the environment, but also ourselves. Now, with the given sheet of voting, sheet, uh, voting form that you have on the table, would you please kindly choose the top two choices that you can implement together as a school Cooperative effort. Now, once you're done, would you please kindly put the paper, the form, and the table right in front, and hope we can get this worked out as a school. Thank you.